Mama see that we got Giancarlo's. Jen, I'm, I'm going to call him Jen because he's my friend in the of building. Of course. I'm super excited to have you. A lot of people know of you from, you know, working with Eva Longoria, Telenovela, the uh, series. That's right, of course, yeah. But That's you're right. here because you're working with Tyler Perry himself in passion. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's a beautiful experience. I mean, Ty, I mean, I think everybody loves Tyler Perry. I, I, I love Tyler Perry. I love him and, and respect him and admire him so much. Everything he's done and, and, and just, you know, he's he's you can tell when he talks about the passion when he talks about everything he does he does it with passion and he does it with love and that's what this project is all about it's called the passion and we're talking we're telling the most important story ever told exactly and you play jesus christ i do i do oh my goodness you're taking on a role and you walked in i was like yo john carlos big shoes to fill right there jesus christ i mean the way I, the way i went into it though I, you know i think people whoever has played jesus in the past which which I know is is, is a short list. Uh, they, a very you would, short you, list. You would make the you would make a mistake if you tried to fill those shoes because we, you could never fill those shoes. You know what I'm saying? It's just that's what this story is about: finding your own journey with the story with God. So that's that's how I took it. That was my angle on it. That's my how did you prepare journey. for the role though? Like I'm gonna be honest. I, if I I would probably read start reading the Bible and go to church a lot. <laughs> <laughs> how did you prepare for it? I look when I. I, I think society has 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 just painted a picture of of religion and, and and Jesus that 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 we can't really at least my generation we can't relate to it the way that it's being presented in this show is revolutionary it's groundbreaking because it's like if the story of the passion of Christ uh -huh. were to happen now in our era. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so there's a twist so, to it. Uh, well, you know, it, we're staying true to the biblical sense of it, right? Uh -huh. But the wardrobe, the songs, they're from our generation now, like how we're dressed. So it's so people can identify. Exactly. Instead of the instead of the, for example, instead of the crucifixion, like you see, you see SWAT come in, you see the police officers come in, they arrest them, they handcuff them, they really, you know, they they go they go in on him. So we it puts things into a perspective that we can understand the generation of today, and we can see it in a way we've never seen it before with songs we've heard a hundred thousand times that we've danced to, that we've what? sung to. But when you hear it within this context, they were hand-picked songs that help us truly tell the story and fit within the story. And when you hear them like that, it's like it's like if you're hearing these songs for the first time ever. So, so, uh, so, so when you was, got this and they gave you the script at first, when you, when they first reached out to you, what was that moment like? Tyler oh, Perry giving you a call and was like, "Hey, it was, listen." It was surreal. It was surreal because I, I never I won't forget what I was doing. I was sit, I was sitting in bed. I was watching TV, flipping through the channels, uh -huh. and. Three news stations came on. They were talking about the bombings. They were talking about everything that's going on in the world. And then I get this link about this about about this show. I see the link because they did it in, in the Netherlands. It's the first time they're bringing it here to the states. And when you see the real, it's so inspiring. It's it's it, it reminds you what the story's all about. You know, it's it goes beyond the word religion because the word God is way bigger than the word religion. Religion is man-made. God is beyond all that. And this story is about love, about about compassion, about betrayal about acceptance forgiveness so when you see that real after what i was seeing on the newscast and then you see this message of hope and love i'm like yo i needed this i gotta say it came this. right on time i think the world needs it you know we always need love and that's what that's what march 20th is about it goes beyond you know, this story is bigger than any of us that are a part of it it's it's it's, it's sending a message that is so needed in everyday life you know a message of love and I think people, are, we, we're putting so much love into it. And the city of New Orleans has been, has just received us with arms wide open. You guys are filming in New Orleans. We're filming in or New Orleans filming, yeah. and we're doing it live in New Orleans. That's another thing. It's completely live March 20th. What y'all are going to see from your houses on Palm Sunday at night, when y'all are chilling, right. on the couch, just watching TV, it is happening in that moment live. So oh my goodness. if someone slips and falls, someone someone just slips and falls. There ain't no take two. It's oh, right. It's man. gonna happen. So it's so. It's, a, it's a theater play, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like live to tape television. It's live to tape television. It's like cinematography with music, because it's 90 percent of it is sung. So all of us are singers, with acting backgrounds. Most of us, but but first and foremost, uh, singers. So can I, can I ask you? Are you a little nervous that it's live? 
Like, because, you know, even us, you know, doing interviews and, and being live, like, sometimes we get a little nervous. You, some right. people pre-record, some people do their interviews live. You mess up, you mess up. Are you kind of like, oh, man, what if I mess up? No, hey, yo, I, I don't, I believe a lot in the power of the mind. So I don't like to attract any of those type of thoughts to my head. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not nervous about that. We're, we're all, in our cat, look, we're talking about seal is Pontius Pilate, the legendary seal. Uh, we're t Trisha Yearwood, Yolanda Adams, Tyler Perry is n narrating this whole thing. I mean, we're we're You're working with some heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. And Prince Royce. Prince Royce is, is is one of the disciples. He's he's the other he's the other Latino. Uh, uh, um, in the, he's the only other Latino besides me. And yeah, he show. plays the Apostle Peter. Yes, Chris yes. Daughtry is another great performer, great singer. So we're so used to performing and doing concerts and touring all the time that I don't think that that live aspect of it makes us nervous. I think, at least for me, it excites us. It excites us, and, and we just can't because there's nothing like you, you feed can't, off each other's energy and, too. And you can't replicate a performance live where you feed from the audience and that energy. You can't replicate that in the studio. You know what I'm saying? So we're excited about it. So make sure you guys check it out. It airs Sunday, March 20th, Palm Sunday. Off it's gonna Sunday. be live passion. I'm super excited. On Fox, baby. Let's yes, do it. on Fox. It's gonna be huge. Now, can we just talk about you? You, the person. You, you're an actor, singer, musician. You're, you just came out with an album. You're doing an album, right? We're doing the album. You're doing yeah. the album. We, yeah, we just got signed by Republic Records and Universal Latin. Is, is, they do my Spanish stuff. We just did a tour in Central America. Now we're going to South America, and we just got news. Our Spanish single went double platinum. What? Yes, in Latin America. So we're excited about that and grateful so about that. Dope. I know, I know. I'm, I'm blessed. And you, and you love R&B. We were talking about I that. I love R&B. He's like, I this love my, some R&B. my new favorite state. I just moved here. This is my new favorite station. I'm going to put some <laughs> That's right. It gets you in the mood. It, it does. You, mood. you know what? That's what we're all about. K-Day, you know, if you don't know, it's the first hip-hop station in the world. We are the first. That's why we call ourselves the legendary 935 K-Day. We are the first hip-hop station in the world. So we try to keep the integrity of what hip-hop was and still to this day. But the fact that you've worked with a few hip-hop artists yourself, right? Oh, uh, well, I, I mean, I, I've been influenced by a bunch of hip-hop artists. You like know, who? I grew up I mean, Biggie is obviously, you know, an NWA. I, it, it, it's just the time. You see is, straight out of Compton? Of, girl, you, oh, you're, <laughs> hey, our girl's from Compton right here. Right? You're from, you're from Compton. My family, we're all from Compton, I yeah. Mean, it, it's just music that, at least me being a Miami boy, I, I just, it, it really has had a huge end. Snoop, that Love we Snoop. were talking about Snoop before. He's just people that really just mark a generation and, and, and you know, created something for the new generation like myself to come and do music. I, I, you know, when you hear the album, yes, there's a little bit of Lionel Richie in there, there's a little bit of of, of Prince, of, of, uh, of Michael? Sting, Michael Jackson is a huge influence on me, but y you can definitely, when those 808s come in, in some of those songs, you, you, you sense the hip-hop influence as well, so it's... Now, uh, you were saying, you know, you are born in Miami, Florida, uh, you're Cubano, do, do you, do you, you know, kick it with Pitbull? I'm just asking, because oh, he's from Miami too, my you know. Boy, I've written two songs for him, we've done songs together in Spanish, so that's my, that's How my dope is he though, right? He's, he's legit. He's he's so authentic, and that's that's what I love about him. Because what you see on TV and what you see in the interviews, that is what you see in real life, and that's that, that's the people we mess with. Like that's that it, it, you need to surround yourself with real people, especially in this industry. It's so hard to find. You find a bunch of like shady people that are one way in front of a camera, and then when the camera's off, or they off, have ulterior motives. Exactly. Yes. So so to meet genuine and like real people, that's that's what I like to attract to my my circle of friends and the people that I mess with and go to and vibe at the studio with. So no, yeah. Pebble. I've I've met him a few times. I actually interviewed him in the beginning of his career, and uh, it was so funny. True story. I didn't want to. I, I hadn't heard about him. I didn't know who he was, <laughs> and I was actually kind of like you didn't want to interview me. No, what are you talking yes, about? See, I, I heard, did. I heard. I no, heard. shout out to Veronica. She twisted my arm. I maybe heard. No, Veronica, <laughs> I had to beg you. Veronica, I had to beg you. No, but you know, I was interviewing the Yin Yang Twins at the time, and I didn't want to interview was interviewing the Yin Yang Twins at the time, and uh, they were like, "Listen, we got this new artist. His name's Pebble. If you and I was like, "No, no, I just came here to do this interview," and they're like, "CC," and I'm like, "All right, I'll." give you like two minutes right so I interviewed and the interview ended up going like 45 minutes because I just this man was so intelligent and he speaks so eloquently and he was just on point I was like yo like and this was the beginning of his career where nobody really knew who it was and I was like you're gonna go far you're gonna go far yeah and he and he has and he's remained that same humble guy throughout the years oh totally and that, that, that's what I'm, that's what I mean you know you, you can't forget look 
the way I was raised, my grandfather used to tell me, rest in peace, he used to tell me, it's just as important as leaving a legacy as an artist, you make sure to leave one as a human being. Absolutely. And don't forget where you're from. And I, I, I come from a small town. It's called Hialeah. It's the hood in Miami. Is it really? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. My parents Chuck, how was you from the hood? I, yes, <laughs> believe it or not, I am. And I'm grateful for it because it, it makes you, you know what I'm saying? And I was selling tamales with my grandfather every time we would go out. And, and, and that I, I had a game with my mom. And I, I always tell the story. When uh, the when the radio program, right, let's say a CC, right, yes. would come out and say, and y'all the number one song this week, my mom would turn off the radio after hearing that, and she would put in one of my mixtapes or something of mine, and then she would pretend that I was the number one, and she's like, look, Jen, you're on the radio, you're number one. Oh so my we god! To, we used to play like that. That was my game with her, and I, I, for the first time, I was like seven, eight years old. I was like a little older, like nine. I sang in the backyard of my house. And since my dad didn't know anyone in the industry, mm -hmm. when he would find out a neighbor was, was having a party, he'd knock on the door and ask them if I could sing at their party. And that's how I started, singing in backyards, in, in Hialeah, singing in backyards in Opelaka, in Carroll City, and that's wherever I could. That's a cool story. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, uh, it, you don't forget where you're from. That's, no. that's who you are. And your mom, sp she spoke that into existence. That's what I love about oh, it. Oh, man, the first time we heard our song on, on, on the radio, my first number one on Billboard in Spanish was in 2010. It was just like the first thing I did. Was I, I I called my mom. and was like, "Mom, we don't gotta pretend anymore. Like this is happening." And oh she my God. she was just crying. It was it was a it was an unforgettable moment. That's just a thank you for sharing that story. It's such a dope story about your mom. I'm like, oh my, I'm just so touched by it right now because you're like, you don't gotta put a, a CD in no more. It's my song on the radio. It's, it's happening. It's yes, happening. definitely happening. And of course, passion is happening Sunday, March 20th. Make sure you guys check it out.